Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Mateo Kovacic card to review. Uh, we're taking a look at a card who is five foot nine, high, high work rates, right footed, four star skills with a four star weak foot. In game player traits, the card is working with the flare trait, playmaker, technical dribbler, in game attributes. Okay, so it's an obvious shadow chemistry style flex for him. Is he a controlled or explosive player? Let's see here. Is he controlled or explosive? Kovacic, Mateo Kovacic. Okay, so he's base explosive. On a shadow, he has 94, 94 acceleration with 80 for sprint speed. Defensive stats massively increased, but shooting is on the lower side. However, if this card does get some sort of improvement in the future, um, shot power is definitely going to be the main thing that we have to look at. Now, EA, to be honest with you guys, uh, these cards should be upgraded way more than you actually do them. Because uh, when you give them the upgrade, they're still kind of like whatever cards. You know, like they're decent cards, but I feel like they have to improve them a little bit more. Um, it's not terrible whatsoever. In this case, four star, four star capabilities with high, high work rates, defensive stats being there. Some pretty decent stuff there. Shooting stuff. He's got 88 shot power, right? So the shot power is the main thing you have to look at. Hopefully they give him like a plus four, plus five in the uh, finishing department in the future, just in case you want to use him as your attacking oriented uh, center mid. Passing on the card is in a decent area with a four star weak foot. Uh, dribbling on the card also in a pretty decent area because he is a five foot nine player with an average body type, right? So a few things to take into consideration there. I feel like you have to give him the shadow chemistry style because the defensive boost is super necessary for a card that you're going to either be using in a three midfield setup or in a two midfield setup, right? So either way, it's definitely going to be very important. And then last but not least for physical stats, he's got an 85 for stamina, which is a decent cutoff to work with the high, high uh, work rates, which is uh, it's okay on the card. Like I said, I feel like these showdown cards, um, they're very underwhelming for the most part from EA side. I think they definitely could do a little bit better with them uh, for base card stats because even with the improvements, guys, the pace is formatted a little bit strangely. He's based off of acceleration more than anything. But um, to be fair, this card right here is Zinchenko. Like, they, they put him up there in price at, at that point, but this card was actually pretty decent to use because when you give him the Shadow Chemistry style, 93 acceleration, 78 for sprint speed, the acceleration was very helpful to work with um in his case right so and he was a controlled player during that time period too which after the patch became a little bit better too so um yeah we're gonna go ahead and get the card and i'll show you guys how we line them up in game okay guys so uh for now this card will be on the shadow chemistry style let's go ahead and give him that uh shadow chemistry style cool beans uh he will be the more attacking oriented midfielder right since we have pulling in the squad on the shadow that should be fine to work with so we'll do the four two three one um we're gonna switch trosar to be cam and the rest of the team will be as it is yeah okay so that's like that you're on stay back then you're the one on cut pass lanes only okay cool beans cool beans um all right let's go try them out i don't know what happened there but we make it work Okay, Kovacic. All AI there. It was a great pass by Kovacic, though. That was a really, really good pass. Does well under pressure. Oh, so close. Good layoff pass there by Kovacic, too. I tried. I don't even think the touch was that bad for like a consistent outside foot shot there, but. Second man press gets to it. Nice try. Nice. Okay. Good defensive play again. Okay, 
Mm, I'll try to get that quickly there, Kovacic. Nice pass by Kovacic. Only tracks back quick enough to get the ball easily there. Oh, I couldn't get to it quick enough there. He tried. We'll take it. Oh, almost. Almost got the shield dribble off right there. Oh, nothing there with Kovacic. Oh, get it. There we go. I'll take that. All done, Kovacic. A little reach right there. Oh my goodness. What a pass to Trollstar. Trollstar with the crazy acceleration to space. And Kovacic, Kovacic with a defensive play. Oh man. Almost got a defensive play there with him on the second man. Good job. Pretty lucky there, to be honest. Yeah, I, guys, I'm not even going to try him out with any other chemistry style because it just it has to be a hunter for the most part. Like I said, if you're playing him in the cam position, you can give him the marksman, but because he's a smaller player, it is compensating well for his dribbling stats. So you kind of have to hope that if they win, they improve his base card stats for dribbling like by a plus like three or four. Yeah, he definitely has the most potential out of the, the cards. Oh, Kovacic puts just a little bit of pressure. I'll trigger. He's in control of the situation. That works. Ah. Well done. Sterling. No free kick there, eh? Alrighty then. Well done, Kovacic. Oh, go back, go back, go back. Yes, my boy. That one actually attached himself to the ball, which is good. Interception. Good positioning. Goes for the reach. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Kovacic card. So uh, it's a decent card. Nothing uh, nothing crazy bad with it. So now, obviously, with the showdown cards, I always say that they definitely should be improving their base card stats uh, a little bit more so that they're more usable just in case they don't actually get the upgrade right like for instance we did the jimenez card he didn't end up winning it's a pretty useless card at that point right um the showdowns this year have been pretty generic for the most part uh what i will say about kovacic is that uh when you do give him the shadow chemistry style it is a card that i would personally use more in a three midfield setup than a two midfield setup because of the way that the pace is set up so obviously uh initial acceleration of the card working with the explosiveness is very nice but it's the sprint speed for certain situations. That's where you feel like you want to have a massive improvement in, right? And the future, like if they were to improve the pace, if they end up winning by a plus four for acceleration and sprint speed, it would definitely be a nice plus to have on the card for sure. But regardless, it is more of a card you use in a three midfield setup. You can use him in a two midfield setup, no problem. We were using that uh, in our team and he still defended really well for us AI wise. But it's definitely more of a three midfield setup thing, right? Uh, this card, when it comes to shooting, obviously for base card stats, the finishing improvement will definitely be a massive plus if he does get that upgrade because the shot power 
is noticeably pretty nice in game, but it's just the finishing. The finishing has to be significantly higher if you plan on using him in that specific way. Dribbling on the card, honestly, I felt like was perfectly fine with the five foot nine height average body type as a midfielder. I didn't mind it whatsoever. Uh, he actually did do a lot of defensive plays for me, uh, which was nice. You know, a lot of the stuff was uh, AI based and stuff. Like the only defensive plays that I noticed him being lackluster was the lack of sprint speed for certain areas, right? But when he did get into the right areas at the right time, he was still pretty decent to use. Uh, physical stats, not really much to say there. But uh, yeah, just one of those types of cards where, again, I do feel like EK, EA could have done better with the showdown uh, base card stats. But if he does get the improvement, it's a pretty decent card to use in the meta of the gameplay, right? But definitely a, a card that needs that improvement 100%. So um, of the two choices, I do think that the Trollstar card is a better choice. Um, not necessarily matchup wise, but in game quality wise, if they win, that's what I'm trying to say. Right. So, um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and review the Trossard card and, uh, we'll talk about it there too. But, uh, with Kovacic, it's like a mech card, right? Like you unlock him for sentimental value, or if you really think he's going to get that upgrade for a decent card, uh, for the links that you want to work with in the future. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out dudes. Love you guys.